Good afternoon, everybody. This is Kyle from Grim and Prepping. Uh, I just want to do a short video today on a couple products that I think, in my opinion, everyone should have in their kits. And that is hemostatic agents. Um, it doesn't matter whether you have them in your um, home medical kit, your EDC bag, whatever. Um, the reason I think these are so important is because, um, well, one, I've had, recently I've had an experience with them and I was glad I had them. Secondly, is because in an emergency, sometimes you need something to help uh, with clotting and to help um, stop, stop the bleeding. Um, the, the two products that um, I think everyone should have is the first one is this which is uh, Celox. Now this is just the civilian version. You, um, this you can get I believe at Walmart or you can find them online um, but there's also the military version because this was originally developed for the military um, as a way to again help control bleeding. Um, the second one is um, what's called hemostat gauze um, and that is basically the same thing as Celox but or similar to Celox but it um, is in a gauze pad now um, these uh, agents help to what they do is when they interact with blood they basically gel up and they seal the wound um, allowing you to uh, later on clean out the wound and um, uh, stitch it up and let it heal like it's supposed to uh, there is one slight issue with these and that is uh, you don't want to use them in a wound that is an arterial wound such as there's arteries in your arms your legs uh, and obviously your chest um, most of the time you should be okay though but like I said you gotta be aware of that um, the the experience I was referring to is um, about a week, week or two ago, I was working on a knife sheath, this one, for my uh, Mora companion. And like an idiot, I didn't um, tape the blade and I ended up slicing my finger really bad. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, now that doesn't look too bad right now. That's because, like I said, it's been a couple of weeks and it's healed. It's, it's uh, gotten a lot better. But when I, when I first did slice it, it was to the point where I would have to, if I didn't have what I have, I would have had to go to the hospital or risk uh, bleeding out and getting in really serious trouble. Um, anyway, the um, luckily I had these agents, these hemostatic agents, and was able to stop the bleeding quickly. Now, um, I'll show you how I was able to stop the bleeding. The hemostat gauze comes in a little square like this. I mean, it's very, very small. Okay? And what I did was you basically take and um, put the hemostat gauze on the wound, and then you wet the edges so it basically 
um, conforms to your finger, finger or hand or whatever. And then what I did was I wrapped it in, uh, wrapped it in just regular rolled gauze. Um, and what that did was that allowed me, it, it stopped the bleeding um, and kept me from um, needing to go to the hospital right away. I did go the next day um, and the doctor was actually quite surprised at how well it had clotted and how well um, I had done fixing, fixing it up. Um, now, under normal circumstances, I would have needed stitches, but with this, with how I did, I didn't need to. Um, so, and that's how, that's why I think these are so important. It's because it's those kind of situations where you may not need, may not have uh, time may be of the F essence. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm losing my words here. Um, but time may be of the essence, and you may not be able to get to the hospital in time. Um, so that's that's why I think these are so important. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Um, both of those are Grandman Prepper. Um, Facebook, I actually have a new uh, Facebook page, Grandman Prepper. Um, and I also have now an Amazon store, which is Gray Man Prepper. Um, I want to thank you all for your support, and I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.